Hello, welcome to chapter 10, lesson 2. Today we're going to talk about fractions as a part of a whole. Okay, so I just wanted to show some examples to talk more about how when we're cutting things to show fractions, they need to show equal parts. So does this show equal parts? No, so that would not be cutting and representing any fractions. This does not show equal parts either. This one, yes, because fractions need to have equal parts. Our whole is cut into equal parts. This guy here, uh-uh, not equal parts. Um, and then real quick over here, we can see that this first question says, hey, one shape is shaded in out of four total parts. So that shape or that piece represents one fourth of our circle. Here we have one piece shaded in out of two total pieces. So half of our circle is shaded in. Here we have two pieces shaded in out of one, two, three total pieces. So two thirds of our circle is shaded in. And here we have one, two, three out of four. 3 out of 4, so 3 fourths of our shape is shaded in. Lastly, we have another one, 2 thirds again. How about that? 2 out of 3 total pieces, so 2 thirds of our shape is filled in. So that's kind of a quick overview. You don't have this in your notes, but just a quick overview of what we're going to be doing today. So here we go. Example 1. The background paper, Mr. Dempsey, Mrs. Dempsey's bulletin board is divided equally, equally, if it's not equal, it's not a fraction, into four strips. What fraction of the bulletin board is green? Okay, so we can see that one part is green out of one, two, three, four, four total rectangles or four total colors, right? So, here we have again the numerator is the top number, denominator is the bottom number. I remember numerator north, north is up, denominator down because the denominator is on the bottom. Um, and over here too it says the part that is the green, the part that we're talking about, the part that's shaded, the part that we ate, right? That's our numerator. And then the denominator always talks about the total number of parts. How many total pieces was the pizza cut into? <clears throat> so one fourth or one, ooh, we have to spell it, F-O-U-R-T-H, of the bulletin board is green. All right, example two. Not all fractions are unit fractions, right? Because for example here it says what fraction of the flag is Red. Well, I see we have two. So this is our numerator, right? Two is our numerator. Out of how many total pieces? Out of three total rectangles, right? Two out of three are red. So that'd be, we'd say that as two thirds. So two thirds or two thirds. Oops, I. R, D, S, of the flag is red. Explain why two-thirds is not a unit fraction. Well, because a unit fraction has a numerator, remember numerator, top number, of one, right? So two thirds is not a unit fraction because the numerator is not one. That simple. <clears throat> here we go, complete the chart, write a fraction for each part. So here's the model, here's a picture. Model just means picture, right? So what fraction of this is yellow? So we have one, two, three, our pieces are yellow out of one, two, three, four total pieces. What is the fraction of the part that is not yellow? 
Well, that's just one piece is not yellow out of one, two, three, four total pieces. So three fourths of this shape is yellow, one fourth is not yellow. All right, next part, let's see how many are yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Five pieces are yellow out of six, seven, eight, eight total pieces. Okay, now the part that is not yellow, one, two, three, out of, so there are eight pieces, right? We didn't take any away. Three out of eight are not yellow. Okay, um, that is all that I have for you. Um, make sure you let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you later. Bye.